a confident look about Takalu at this point. He's occasionally getting outspeeded by Kalik. Yes, sometimes he's a little open here when he when he goes backwards. Takalu just leaves the hands down and is, is caught by long punches from Kalik. Takalu, full name, Merdud Takalo Bigashi. So we're grateful he shortened it. I'll ask you to say that next time, Glenn. Takalu, he is. <laughs> Takalu, he's going to stay too. Just not doing enough at the moment, really. You feel Kalik. More untidy this round and getting a shade messy. Yes, Kalik's tried a little harder and Takalu hasn't really had any good spells in this round and has been called to the floor. Takalu managing to swarm and leaving himself open, shade carelessly. He needs to get those gloves up a bit more, but he's doing the more impressive work. Tough round to score, really, that one, because not an awful lot seemed to happen. He did some quite good work early on, Jawed Kalik, but... Um, well, Kalik, what did you think? Was, Kalik was trying harder in that round. It became a little messy. Both boxers had small spells where they landed with, with OK punches. Neither one really took a, a firm foothold in that round. I'd probably mark it a, an even round. Kalik was trying to get the jabs working, trying to get Takalu on the end of the right hand, but just couldn't really get a good spell going and find a rhythm. Close on punches landed, only one in it, says the computer, and on punches thrown too. So I wonder what Dave Paris's scorecard is saying. Could easily depend on this fourth and last round. The green trunks then of the 1996 English ABA welterweight champion, Jawaid Kalik from Nottingham, and the white trunks of Takalu, the man whose family are from Iran, but he's now very happily settled in Margate, Kent. Good little battle and the atmosphere around the arena pretty good too because both of them have obviously sold a few tickets and have a few fans here supporting them decent left went in from Kali and he's just out speeding Takalu at the beginning of this round Takalu coming back to the good left tribune and he's rocked him as well his legs certainly stiffened up there Kali Takalu with this extra power in this Cross weight contest. And left hook thuds home again. <laughs> no knockdown. <laughs> what happened next? <laughs> well, Kalik does come apart a little bit when he's under pressure. The hands come down, the chin in the air, and he does get caught with shots when he's under pressure. He just needs to pull that chin down. Both of them tiring. Takalu noticeably. His gloves have come down. He's left himself open to a right hand. And down goes Takalu. He knows it's a mandatory eight count. His corner have told him to get back down again. Jimmy Tip screamed at him to get back on the floor and make sure that he gave himself some respite. Now, does Takalu get through here, or has Kalik actually scored a breakthrough? That was not a knockdown. He just wrestled him over. But one authentic knockdown with the right hand. Oh, and he gets in again with the left hand here, and Kalik may be winning this late on. Two counts here for Takalu, who's tired. His gloves have come down. He's staggering a little rather than moving. And he looks ready to be taken here. It's all gone wrong. 
for Takalu in this last round. Another right hand. The referee may step in. Two more big rights. Dave Paris lets it go. Another left hook. That has to be the end of it. I don't think he'd get up anyway. There's no count. It's over in a spectacular three knockdown final round. Jawed Kalik wins to keep his unbeaten record and end that of Takalu and what fireworks in the final round there. It really was, that was a, a terrific result for Kalik who just brought it all out in the last round, got the leverage that he finally needed, started letting big punches go and Takalu just came apart. He was hit with several good punches, was finally down for the, the third time but he had to take a lot in that last round I think this fellow's got a bit more power than we're giving him credit for. He stopped Martin Holgate in six rounds, and here he really gets to a tiring Takalu in the final round and just takes him apart. He really does. I don't know if it's brute power. What he's got is he's got good fast reflexes, fast hands, and good timing. He gets good leverage into his punches, and I think that, that's what makes the difference. He's tall, and like a lot of power punches, they're tall and thin. He's like that, the Tommy Hearns of this world. You can just get the leverage into a punch, and Takalu manages to do it. I think also, sorry, Kalik manages to do it. I think Takalu was also starting to tire a little bit at that stage as well. His stamina certainly seemed to give out Takalu. That was a great left hook. And here it is only a matter of time. I think Dave Paris gave Takalu every possible opportunity to see if he could get through. But in the end, the argument was ended in emphatic fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, another tremendous fight. The referee, Dave Paris, has stopped the contest after two minutes and 47 seconds of round four. The winner by...